in this module we will get continue with the lower spool barrel and the lower sight and the hammer part of the gun so let's get started okay i am having a box drag a box zoom this a little bit go to uh, edge or edit mesh should have insert edge loop tool right click and face select this one and move forward this is the small part extrude w and move forward go to edge select this one move forward or scale forward through both direction press 3 and check your uh, smoothness and i have to add insert edge loop tool to its corner this would be fine This would be fine. Press 3, object mode, select this one, move at the top, move forward, zoom this a little bit. Rotate this, go to channel box. This would be fine, 90 minus 90. This would be fine. Zoom this vertex, click the all. Move forward and this one move forward object mode make a new box going to vertex and draw uh, boxes like this select the face extrude this a little bit rotate this or downward direction move this up a little bit so rotate this like this it would be okay go to vertex and select this one move forward to edit mesh where you have the insert edge loop tool insert some edges face extrude this downward direction Vertex, go to edit mesh and insert edge loop tool. Edges at the corner, move this. Zoom this a little bit, scale it up and manage its level. Same with here. Select this one. Extrude this downward direction, object mode, select this, press 3, 
it's smoothing very much. I have to adjust at the bottom of the gun barrel. So by pressing one, hardened view has been formed. Scale is down, edit mesh, set edges. Now you should insert the edges into its corner. Object mode, three, smooth. Now it's good. Move this up a little bit. Rotate this um, 90 degree. Rotate through blue. Minus 0 degree. It's straight. Rotate this up. Minus 90. That's good. The pivot is soft slow, so by bracket I can I can uh, increase the size of the pivot through brackets through bracket down the size of the pivot decreases and through bracket up the size of the pivots will increase move forward this is the handle part of the gun so increase the uh, subdivision level go to face select 101 go to extrude and move forward by pressing W, move forward. I have to scale it individually, so this will be fine. Go to the another view. I can I can judge it very similarly better than uh, to switch the view over. Now to select the uh, top part, I should switch the view in this particular region. Move this up a little bit. Okay, select this one again. Extrude and move forward this would be fine what is this uh, this is the grip part of the gun if i select three you see it's all been smoothing very much that means i have to insert the edges into its corner so i'm going to face select the faces Move this little bit. Edit mesh, insert in loop tool. Insert some edges. Press 3, that's good. Rotate this, minus 90. Rotate this again, minus 180. Scale this down a little bit. Move this, zoom this through F, by pressing F you can zoom it in a particular model. This would be the uh, lower grip, ok. 
okay i will put this symmetry later on and will manage it in later words at first i have to complete the base model followed by some short of details uh, going to box again select the box which with mesh and set age look to yeah here it is go to extrude this would be the trigger part of the gun I put some edges into its corner Press 3, smoothing occur, object mode, select this one, press 3 again, select this one, move this a little bit, pivot, adjust the pivot, rotate this up, minus Get special, change the value of scale, put in z axis, select this one, control g to group this up. Here it is the group has been done successfully. Adjust the pivot through d, rotate it through r, sorry for e. Okay, I have to decrease the size uh, minus not minus 90, 90 would be fine and move forward the top rotate this up In next module, we will make bullets and the magazine part of the gun.